Right. So um, I, I was a chef for a long time. Food's been my passion. One of my biggest passions since I was a child. I was always cooking. My grandparents were cooking. My dad wanted to be a chef. Mm. And he was in the Army, and so he traveled all over the world. He's a 24-year a uh, retired Army colonel. And so he was always traveling and going all over the world, and he'd bring us home these cookbooks. My favorite ones were from Korea. Uh, didn't have a lot of English in them, but it had photos of what you had to do okay. and the steps to cook. So I was playing with those and pulling out the cards when I was a kid. And long story short, I had taken a class in, in uh, high school and excelled, won some cooking competition that I wasn't supposed to win because I was too young. And I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. Started working in restaurants, became a chef, moved down to Miami. I was living in Brazil before. I was living, I went from wow. D.C. to Captiva Island to Brazil to Miami for college. And um, went to culinary school and then hotel school. While I was in hotel school, I was running a restaurant. At, it was a GM and a partner over there. And then uh, I started getting really sick. I was having like all these health issues and GI issues. And I was in a lot of pain and so much pain that it was really hard for me to stand up in the kitchen. I couldn't, you know, like, you know, you guys had dinner with me last night. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't able to eat the food that I was cooking and all the doctors couldn't really give me a good diagnosis. They said, Oh, well, you're allergic to dairy and you can't eat cockroaches. What? Yeah. Oh, like well, you did the test. Oh, they, sorry. they said I could eat the African cockroaches, the really big ones, but I couldn't eat the American and the German ones. And I was like, well, <laughs> how about I just eat no it's cockroaches? A test. It's a thing. <laughs> oh, it's silly. So, Anyway, they, they were wrong. What? Well, not about the cockroaches. Oh, I haven't so tried that. You find uh, out. But they were wrong about the dairy. A couple of years later, I tried some goat cheese. I was all upset. I went into my GI doctor, and I took a big block of goat cheese, took a bite. They start freaking out. Well, it turns out that at the time, I was my body was just having a lot of weird reactions that we haven't really been able to put a medical term to yet. And, and I'm okay with that now. Mm -hmm. But the end result was changing my diet to, uh, for a while, grilled chicken and steamed vegetables. That was, that was like my safe diet. Mm -hmm. I would still get sick sometimes, but not all the time. I lost 25% of my body weight. Wow. So I went from 215 to 161. It was, oh, wow. you know, pretty sick for a while. Yeah. Anyway, the real estate, uh, one of my kind of big brother mentors at the time said, hey, brother, you know, you're really good with people. You're good at selling. You've helped do some valuations on some hotels and restaurants in the air. Why don't you get your real estate license and come work with me? He was working for a huge developer at the time. He was a director of sales. And so I said, you know what? Yeah, you're right. I could pick my schedule if I was sick or had to go to the doctors or in the hospital. I wouldn't lose my job. Mm -hmm. you know. And so I was still able to create something where I could serve people, be creative, and kind of use my expertise with that and use my love for people um, and, and just build a business around it. And then I really started to fall in love with it. It took a couple of years to, for me to really understand what it was like. And then I hit that kind of like that like aha moment, you know, where I think we all hit that at real mm -hmm. estate where you go, oh, wow, I know what I'm doing now. Like, mm -hmm. This is cool. And I just stayed with it and I've just built on that and absolutely love it. And it's led to more public speaking and other opportunities and a lot of video things that I really love. And so I just took all my passions as a child and the things that I missed about being a chef, about doing the show, you know, cooking in front of people, putting food in front of you and you go, oh, my God, chef, mm -hmm. what is this? And I was able to take that mentality and apply it to real estate. So that's kind of the short version. That's, that's cool crazy. About real estate <laughs> yeah. is that there's so many like avenues. Oh that yeah, you yeah. Can take, right? That was a story. Yeah, that was, yeah. that's awesome. That was a, a jam-packed story. Kyle, can you? You gotta. I cannot top that. Well, <laughs> well what you got? 